Hey everyone, happy to have you back. In this video we're going to install Node.js and we are also writing our very first application. Let's get started. To install Node.js we have to head over to nodejs.org and there you will find a link to the latest mature and dependable binary for your system. Simply download it, extract it and then run through the installer. That's pretty straightforward. Once installation is finished, you can check that everything was successful by running node-v in the terminal or command line and then you should get a version number indicating that, well, node is available. Now that we have node, we can jump right into writing our first application. Because the cool thing about Node.js is we don't have to install any separate server or something like this. We're going to write our server on our own. And it's very easy to do so, as you will see. So I got... Um, PHP Storm, which is my IDE here, and my personal opinion is that PHP Storm and WebStorm are great IDEs for working with, well, JavaScript, WebStorm, or if you want a complete package including PHP, PHP Storm. Now you don't have to buy them, they cost money, and I'm sure Atom or Sublime Text are great editors too, but for the rest of, well, this channel probably, I'll mostly work with PHP Storm and if you're interested in following along as close as you can, you might check out this great IDE. But that's just my opinion. So what I'll do is I'll create a new project and I could select a Node.js Express app here, but we'll create a pure Node.js app without Express for the moment. We'll get into Express later in this series, don't you worry. So I'll just choose this empty project here and then I will select this Node.js path here I already set up and in this path here I want to create a new folder basics is just what I'll call this series here okay then I hit create and obviously you can create this folder in the finder or the windows explorer too basically just need to create that folder and now let me bring my my IDE over here Oops. so this is our newly created workspace and as you can see, just an empty folder here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I will create a new file. And I will call it server.js because we're writing our first server. We want to see something in the browser right from the beginning. Let me pause for a second. It might be strange to someone coming from, let's say, PHP that we now write our own server because there we would have Apache, we would have our PHP code, which gets interpreted, and then our HTML files would get served to the user with our, or via our server. In this case here, we're writing our own server. How do we do that? How does this work? Basically, as I explained in the first video, Node.js is just a runtime executing our JavaScript files. Now, Node.js provides certain functionalities which allow us to well, create a server-like functionality, or not only server-like, but a server functionality. For example, we can Node.js that it should listen to a certain port on a certain domain, and all requests coming in should be handled in a certain way. And this is exactly what we will specify in this server file we're creating right now. There we will tell Node.js to listen to incoming requests and do something upon such requests. So very, very simple in the end. You just have to kind of get into that thinking, I guess. Let me show you what I mean. So this server.js is the file which Node.js will execute. And it will not only run through it once and then finish it, but in this file we will kind of start a loop where Node.js will continuously listen to requests. To do this, we first have to import or to require the HTTP module. Now modules are something you might know from my Angular 2 videos, but there we use TypeScript. How does this fit in here? This is JavaScript, right? In the next video, I will take a step back and explain some of these basic JavaScript things we should know when working with Node.js. Modules will be one of them. For now, just think of this like we're importing some functionality we need. So I'm requiring this HTTP module, which gives me access to the create server method here. And this does exactly what it sounds like. It creates a server. Now I'll chain another method here, which is the listen method. And this tells our server, which we will create here, to listen to the port 8000. 
So all requests coming in on port 8000 should be handled by the server. Now currently the server is doing absolutely nothing. So in order to do something with these requests, I will specify a method here, the onRequest method, which should handle these requests. Now this method doesn't exist yet, so let's create it. I'll create a new function here, the onRequest function. And this function takes two arguments, the request and the response. These arguments are automatically passed into this function by Node.js. When this function here is kind of executed or whenever a request comes in. In this onRequest method here, um, I'm not doing anything with the request here, but I want to, well, change the response. I want to, yeah, tell Node.js which response should be given. So therefore I will call the writeHead method to set the, um, the header of our response. And this will get the status code of OK, 200. And then I'll pass a JavaScript object as the second argument, the reason as it says here, which is content type and then text plane. So here I'm just setting the content type of my response. And I'm doing this as a JavaScript object where the key is, well, basically whatever I want to set in the header and the value is, well, the value of the key I'm setting in the header. So in this case, uh, which content type. And of course, I could set other header keys there as well. Then I will call the write function to just render some plain text to the screen. Now, of course, we can also render HTML and we can use HTML files as templates and we will, will and we will do all this in future videos. For now, I'm just outputting some text. Hello world, of course. The last thing I want to do is I want to call response end to make clear that I'm now done with handling response and that it can be output to, well, the person who sent the request. So now our server is created and all that is now left to do is open up a terminal navigate into this folder where you save the server.js file and then just run node server.js. So execute this JS JavaScript file with node.js. Hit enter and well, you won't get any message, but you can see it's not creating a new line. So this process is still running. And then in the browser, I'll navigate to localhost 8000 and you will see hello world. And this is our very first basic application we created. And if there are still some things that are not clear 100%, don't worry. We will go into all the details in the next videos. And we will, of course, then create more awesome applications and so on. See you in the next videos. Bye.